Today we are doing a Japanese market haul where I got some of the most expensive fruits I've ever found. And we're gonna try it. Say hi to my mom. Hi. This is a crown melon. It was imported from Japan. You'll never guess how much it was. Guess how much it was. 10. $60. Whoa. Let's see if it's worth $60. Oh. oh wow. No. It looked like cantaloupe. It does look like a cantaloupe. It has its stem on. Doesn't really smell like anything. So we're gonna cut this up and see if it's any good. Whoa, juicy. Ooh, okay, when you open it up, it has a really sweet smell. It smells like a melona, you know, those ice cream bars? And it's very juicy. Look at all the juice that comes out of this. Wow, it's very sweet. It's sweet? Oh, I cannot wait. I can't wait. Okay, so I cut it up and you get a very dark green layer in between the flesh and the skin, which is not something that I usually find. It's always just like either orange or like light green. Cheers. Mm, it's so sweet. Mmm, it's like perfectly ripe too, even though when you open it, it doesn't feel ripe. Is it worth $60? I would say no, but for the taste, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I agree with you. These strawberries cost $30, and they're the most beautiful strawberries I've ever seen. They're imported from Japan. They come in a flat like this. Each strawberry is huge. It's like the size of two strawberries. Each one is deeply red, big, the size of two normal American strawberries. And in one flat like this, you get 15 strawberries. That means it's $2 per strawberries. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, but is it good? Let's give it a try. Look at the leaves. They're so fresh. They're still perfectly green and fluffy. Let's see what it looks like inside. It's... Pretty freaking perfect strawberry. It's red throughout. Usually the strawberries I find in the winter time, it's like mostly white, especially the middle, but this is red throughout with very little white. You think it's any good? Yes, let's try it. Cheers. Mm, a bit sour. I give it a four out of 10. I've had better strawberries. For $30, I feel like it should be sweet. It should be the best strawberries I've ever had, but it was sour yeah. and it, it didn't have a lot of strawberry flavor. What do you give it? I give about five. We'll give it five out of 10. These are sake jelly shots. What are sake jelly shots? We're gonna find out. It comes in peach, yuzu, and mixed berry. What flavor would you like to try? Lemon. Yuzu. Comes in a little can like this. Okay. Ooh, when you squeeze it out. Wow. It's a jelly sake. Okay, you didn't get a lot of liquid, but I guess the whole can is made out of jelly like that. There's still a lot left I can feel in here. Cheers. Funny. It tastes funny. <laughs> so for me, when you taste the jelly, it almost bursts in your mouth. The sparkliness is in the actual jelly. Mmm. The jelly fizzes inside your mouth, but the sake is very light. It's not too sugary. Do you taste the yuzu? Yeah. Yeah. I like this. I'm gonna give it eight out of ten. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough for you. These are mochigashi, and they're from the longest-running family-owned Japanese bakery in Los Angeles, Fugetsudo. They're pretty famous for their mochi. Each one looks like a beautiful little dumpling. It's soft, squishy. Inside, it's not filled with anything, but it's very soft and squishy. Cheers! Mm. Not too sweet, perfectly chewy. It's almost like pillowy. What should we rate this? Seven. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Tough crowd. <laughs> My local Japanese market has some of the best, most fresh sushi in the refrigerated section. So here's their baked salmon roll. This one is different because it's cooked, first of all, and it's a great alternative to California roll, which is made with imitation crab and usually with avocado and cucumber. The first thing I noticed with this one is that there's no avocado. 
there's only baked salmon with a slice of cucumber. That's not a total deal breaker for me, but it would have been good to have in there. Another unusual thing that I've never seen with sushi is that there's cilantro. Do you want to try this with soy sauce or just by itself? I think with soy sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I taste sesame oil in the fish. It's a little salty, not too much, because I did dip it in here too. But now I get why they added the cilantro in there, because the cilantro just adds like a pop of freshness to this. And honestly, I didn't miss the avocado. I would definitely buy this again. For eight pieces, this was $7.49. It's made with good salmon. There's no antibiotics in the salmon, and it's Japanese-grown rice. I didn't feel like it was very spicy, even though it says that it's spicy. I give it nine. You give it nine? I was gonna give it an eight out of 10. So we're gonna go with eight and a half out of 10. Okay. These are the biggest, most perfect grapes you've ever seen. It looked like a fake grape. They look like fake grapes. They look like toy grapes, like plasticky ones. They're called Shine Muscat grapes. And even though I got them from a Japanese market, they're actually from Korea. They come in a whole bunch like this. It's bigger than the size of my thumb. They cost $20 for a big cluster like this. And while they do look pretty impressive, are they worth it? Wow. Whoa. Okay, so the shape itself, it looks like a booty. It honestly looks like a booty. Look, two cheeks. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it for you to see. Whoa, so big, there's no seeds in them. That alone gives it an extra point. Cheers. It's not like super crunchy. There is a little bit of like bounce to them. It's sweet, but it's not like super duper sweet. The peel is like a little bit crunchy. I will give it a seven. Seven? I'm gonna have to agree with her. For $20, I expect it to be like out of this world good. It's good, but it didn't really blow my mind. That's super. Not super. Seven out of 10. This is a $15 pink pineapple. Wow. Have you ever seen a pink pineapple before? This is the first time. This is the first time for me too. Mmm, smells like a pineapple. A little bit of raspberry. I feel like it smells a little bit like raspberry and pineapple. But is it worth $15 for a pineapple? So it's pink throughout. There's no signs of yellow from a pineapple anywhere other than just like in between the flesh and the skin. It's just pink throughout, which is crazy. It's called a pink glow, but let's see if it's good. Mm. Sour. It's sour? I didn't get any sour. I get flavors of berries to me. It tastes like if you were to mash, actually, it tastes more like a strawberry with pineapple. Like, you know, when you get a strawberry pineapple smoothie, that's what it tastes like to me. This one, I think I will give six. Six out of 10? I give it an eight out of 10. So I guess we end up at seven out of 10. Well, since she really loved the sake jelly, we're gonna have her sit the rest of them out and go enjoy. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. In the meantime, we get to try sushi. So my mom actually doesn't eat raw sushi, so I thought it would be fun to just try it here. This is the freshest supermarket sashimi I've ever seen. I'm always a little weary about getting sushi from a supermarket case, but this one I heard is pretty good. So we're gonna give it a try. There's three different varieties of fish here and it costs $14 which is actually a pretty good price for sashimi. At a typical sushi restaurant, this would be at least $20. We have to see if it passes the sniff test to make sure that it is fresh. Honestly, all I smell is lemon and cucumber. Like the fish doesn't smell, so that's actually a really good sign because fresh fish should not smell. Okay, I'm gonna go with the tuna first. As I put it up to my nose, this piece does smell a little fishy and it honestly tastes a little fishy too. We're gonna put this back. Now let's see if this one does. It looks like they seared the outer part. I think this is yellowtail. This one actually does not smell bad. It doesn't smell fishy. It smells like whatever seasoning they have it on the outside. This one's good. I really like this one. I don't know what seasoning they put on the outside, but it's really delicious. 
Okay. Now salmon, on the other hand, could be a hit or miss. So it got partially seared from the acid of the lemon. Sniff test, it passes. It smells like cucumber. Not a bad thing, not a bad thing. Mmm, mm mmm. Wow, is this what raw salmon tastes like? I normally never get like raw salmon pokey or raw salmon sushi rolls or hand rolls. So this is kind of a new experience for me. The texture of the salmon, it's almost like melt in your mouth. I like the salmon and whatever this is, I'm guessing it's yellowtail, but I will pass on the tuna. I give this supermarket sashimi platter seven out of 10. This is the fattest supermarket poke bowl I've ever seen. Look at all the fish that they give you. There is a combination of tuna, salmon, there's rice at the bottom, there's sushi ginger, and then there's a California roll imitation crab in there, and seaweed. I don't actually know if there's any sauce on here, but from the looks of it, there isn't because I only see sesame seeds and green onions. I'm gonna go through and try each of the components to see if they're actually fresh and good on its own. Okay, we're gonna go with the imitation crab first. Mm. Like a California roll, it's mixed probably with QP mayo. And honestly, it's very well seasoned. I like that. Let's try the seaweed. This probably just came from a packet, honestly. Mm. Very standard, a little acidic, sesame oil. All right, let's try the raw fish. Here's our salmon. Mm. On second thought, I do wonder if it's already marinated with something. Let's try the tuna. Mmm. It's got to be marinated because this tuna is way better than the sashimi tuna. And then there's some rice at the bottom that either has fish juice or some seasoning on it. Mmm. Fluffy, tender, soft rice. Mmm. For $13.99, I give this 9 out of 10. It's fresh. It's big. It's going to last me at least two meals, but I got to eat it in the same day. Otherwise... I'm gonna get a massive stomach ache. This ramen gives instant ramen a whole new meaning. We have our layer of noodles, and then the best part about this is that the ramen broth is that jelly matter at the bottom. So you know you're getting really, really high quality ramen right here. And it was only $10. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the egg on the side for now, and then I'm gonna transfer the noodles and the toppings to a bowl, and we're gonna microwave these up so they're nice and hot, and then we're gonna gonna add this delicious, beautiful jelly broth into a saucepan and watch it melt. Okay, we have piping hot broth. Oh my God, this looks so good. Spicy miso ramen is mm, my favorite. Okay, now we have the egg which I honestly think could have been a little less well done. Okay, we're gonna mix up the spiciness. Piping hot. Mm. That's as good as ramen than any ramen I get at like restaurants. The only thing missing is that little black seaweed. And for me, I love buttered corn. Oh, and for $10, this is a really good deal. I'm gonna give it nine and a half out of 10 because I can get restaurant quality in the comfort of my home. Mmm. That's good stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment below and tell me what else you wanna try. Subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. $60. Whoa. Great job. Mom, you're so funny.